Hi and welcome to this month's full moon guided meditation. I hope you are having a lovely month if you're in the UK or the Northern Hemisphere and having a good summer. I am here in Australia at the moment, I'm in Alice Springs and last night I was travelling up from Adelaide on the Greyhound bus and with the full moon and you could you had really beautiful views of the Australian scenery bathed in moonlight and it was absolutely gorgeous. There are no words, there are no pictures that do it justice and I think that is something that everybody should experience at least once in their white lifetime. And it was an overnight bus so this morning you got the moon setting in the west and the sun rising in the east over these over central australia which is just huge wide open spaces and when you're from europe or the uk like i am you don't really appreciate those big spaces because there's just nothing like that because everything is close together and densely populated and like i said there are no words to describe it but so the, the full moon was at about 4.30 a.m. this morning, Australian time, either that was central or eastern time, I don't know. But the energy of the full moon is still around for the, you know, at least 24 hours before and after. And I wasn't, unfortunately, I wasn't in a suitable place to record a guided meditation before the full moon moon but it's but it's not too late it's never too late and this month's moon is special because it is a super moon um, which means it is close as it gets to the earth and I was slightly confused I've just learned something today about blue moons because I always thought a blue moon meant there were two full moons in one month what it actually means is that there are in this case, there are two full moons in the quarter because I was thinking that there hasn't been another full moon in August and that is why it was a blue moon as well. So that's even even rarer to have a super moon. That's also a blue moon and it doesn't mean the moon is blue. I, I don't know why it's called that. I didn't look that up. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The energy is still there and it was. I didn't want to sleep last night. I just wanted to look at the window and I did for most of the night and then I did some of those off this morning. Okay, so get yourself into a comfortable position. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I'm traveling at the moment, so I'm not posting as regularly as I do usually, but I post regular guided meditations, I post EFT type of meditations and updates about my travels and my life. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, it's my aim with this channel to inspire others especially women like myself who've not had easy lives that it's not too late to start living the life you want and so much magic has unfolded during my travels uh, but I'm not going to talk about that now because we're going to meditate if you need to pause the video while you get set up please do so there won't be a bell at the end because I don't have it with me <laughs> it wasn't really practical to carry that and when you're ready and you're comfortable, if you wish, you can close your eyes. And just start by connecting with the breath. Just being present with your full experience. Allow the energy of the full moon to allow yourself to shine that light on everything that's happening in your experience right now without trying to edit anything out. And if it's possible, just notice any 
thoughts, feelings, judgments, sounds, anything that's arising, and just let it come and go without bringing in any thoughts or opinions about what's happening. Can you just let things be simply as they are? And if you can't, if you find it difficult, that's okay. It doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong or that you're a failure. Just notice that too. Because this is a practice. A practice of letting go. And you can imagine the moon. Depending what time of day it is, where you are, you might be able to go out and look at it. Feeling the rise and fall of the breath and letting go of any tension with each out breath. Feeling the support of the ground beneath you. Becoming grounded and earthed and connected. I'm going to be leaving some periods of silence. I haven't gone anywhere. Just for you to be with your direct experience, connecting with the moon and the energies in a way that feels right for you. You might just imagine it. If you're a visual person, you might have a visual sense. You might have a picture of the moon or you might be able to see it. There's no right or wrong. We'll have a period of silence for you to connect without the interruptions of my voice. And if there are any other sounds in the background, just let them come and go while you remain focused on your breath and the energy of the moon.
coming back to the breath and the body as often as you need to. Reconnect with the energy of the moon. Breathing, observing, letting go, and just bathing in the energy and light of the moon, whether it's literally or imaginatively. And feel free now to sit on for as long as you wish, or you might want to do some journaling. Take that time now to be still and present with the beautiful blue moon. And I will see you again in the next video. In the meantime, take care, go well and lots of love.